So it's always best practice to enable as much security as you can with Office 365. And one of the options that you do have across all tenants is multi-factor authentication. So this means that not only do you have a password, you typically have some sort of authenticator on your mobile device that you need to also enter to gain access to Office 365. Now this should be a requirement for all global administrators in your Office 365 environment. Now the way that, that works is that what I'll do here is I will open up a, a new session and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my environment and you'll see that um, I'll be asked for uh, an admin, uh, sorry, a login as expected. All right, so to log in as normal, I'll be asked for the password. Okay, and then what will happen is that the multi-factor authentication will then kick in and what it will do is it will prompt me to uh, confirm the login and send that request to my mobile device. So I have a request here, you'll see on my mobile device. So I'm going to uh, approve that and that will then uh, allow me to log into my environment. Now this is going to obviously keep this uh, login more secure using multi-factor authentication but it does present some challenges. Now, some of those challenges are, especially on global administrator accounts, when we want to look at doing things in PowerShell, again, we have to address that slightly differently. So if I go to my PowerShell environment here, you'll see that I've got a standard script that's going to uh, connect to Exchange Online. So I'm just going to uh, run that PowerShell script. So you'll see that normally I would uh, log in with the same credentials here. Right, so I'm going to put those in, it's going to accept those, and then because I have two-factor authentication, uh, it's going to, again, uh, basically take me through this prompt again and ask me for the password. And then what we'll find is, is again, I'll be asked to uh, verify that uh, the account is wanting access on my mobile device. So again, you'll see it pop up and I will approve that. So now you would think that basically we could get access to PowerShell because we've gone through all those requirements. But what you'll find is, is that we'll come up basically with a lot of red indicating we've got errors in PowerShell. And you'll notice that the error that we categorize here is that uh, access is denied. All right, so we're getting this option here, which is telling us that access is denied. So we need to approach this in a different manner. We need to configure things slightly differently when we're using two-factor authentication with PowerShell. Now, the first step is to log into our uh, portal as the global administrator. And then we need to go to the admin area. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to go down to the admin areas here and go to the Exchange Admin. All right, so we'll select that and that'll bring up the uh, Exchange option here. Now in here, basically what we'll need to do is we'll need to go to a hybrid area and download a special PowerShell module and install that on our local machine to allow us to run PowerShell. So if we go down to hybrid down the bottom here, select that, you'll see that this bottom option here, the Exchange Online PowerShell module supports multi-factor authentication. So what we're going to have to do is we're basically going to have to install this module. So we download it, uh, give it a second to complete and then we need to run and uh, install that and okay we'll see that we again get an issue here because we're running this inside chrome right so what we'll need to do is we'll need to go out and basically do this in a microsoft browser so what i'm going to do is log in using internet explorer okay so i'll log into my office 365 environment again so I'll log in as the you as the admin global admin uh, put in the password again and then be prompted for my two-factor authentication to verify uh, the identity here. So I give that a second while it spins up and sends that notification out to my mobile device. Again, you'll see that pop up there. So I'm going to approve that. That will allow me to uh, access the tenant. Now doing that, go stay logged in, yes. And again, repeat that process. We'll need to go to the admin portal uh, and then we need to go to the hybrid option and then we'll need to go down and download that PowerShell uh, additional PowerShell uh, item there so let's go to Office 365 let's go to admin let's go to uh, the hybrid when it comes up in a sec and then go through that download process so again unfortunately we need to do this in a Microsoft browser typically in Internet Explorer is probably the recommended browser that you need to use so again we go in here go into exchange wait for that page to display go into hybrid down the bottom here 
and again select the option here for the exchange online powershell module that supports uh, the multi-factor authentication so you'll see that now it will launch the application because it's able to do that in ie we're going to install again it'll take a moment or two for uh, that to install all right we wait for that to complete and then basically what that gives us is a powershell environment that we can now uh, connect to our environment which supports multi-factor authentication now you'll see that here you're basically told that we need to use the connect dash ex ops session and the user principal name right so what i need to do here is basically i'll have to go into connect dash ex ops -S -E -S -S -I -O -N, right and i need to put the uh username here right so I'll put in user principal name and then i need to put in the user that i'm going to log in with all right so we need to uh, do that and now it's going to go through the same sort of process as we've experienced before oops sorry it's just asking for my password because i've already provided the um credentials so i put that in once again i will get prompted on my mobile device that I need to approve that login or confirm uh, basically via my two-factor authentication so I give that a moment we'll see that pop up again and we'll approve that and that will then log us in now once that has successfully logged in you'll see something very familiar that happens when you connect to PowerShell uh, here you'll see basically it will go out or load the modules for exchange and then allow us to run the commands here so here we go you'll see it's downloading the relevant uh, information and the modules all right so again we've successfully authenticated and again we'll get the confirmation there so if i go in here and put in uh, a standard powershell command to get mailbox then basically you can see i can run all the commands against it all right now what we find is is that shell is out here so you see that it's recently added so if we want to uh, basically run that we need to go into our uh, start menu and we need to run the microsoft exchange online powershell uh, module here which will allow multi-factor authentication now that's all well and good but it doesn't quite give us the same flexibility as we get with the PowerShell integrated scripting environment, right? So what we really want to be able to do here is that we want to uh, be able to uh, go in and access our um, environment with two-factor authentication, but from the integrated scripting environment that you see here. Now that is possible. Uh, the way that we can do that is that we need to be uh, do things a little bit differently. So I'm just going to paste in the appropriate commands here. Okay, so this will allow me to connect using multi-factor authentication in the um, scripting environment here that you see. So what we need to do is we need to run this command first, this import module, see that it reaches out basically and will pull the appropriate files uh, from the local drive that we have after we've installed the module that I've shown you. So let's run that. All right, so that's going to import that module and then basically what we need to do is create a new session all right and this is going to ask me for my credentials all right so it's going to log me into my office 365 environment uh, and again it's going to uh, support the multi-factor authentication so again i put my login and password in there i'll need to again verify uh, via the app on the device that that's all good so give that a moment to be pushed and again as you see that i'll approve that and that will then allow me to uh, connect and then next thing we need to do is we'll need to import that session so again we've basically been able to uh, set up the environment to support multi-factor authentication all right so let's go and now import the session all right now as you see when you import the session we'll again get the uh, commands loading as we expect come back to the prompt and we'll be able to uh, basically run our standard uh, exchange powershell here to get to our office 365 environment so if i go again to the uh, standard uh, command here in powershell you'll see i get all the information that i want all right so in summary what we've done is that when you enable uh, multi-factor with Office 365, that means there's an additional requirement that you're gonna have every time that you log in. That login is also going to now mean that you have to approach PowerShell 
in a slightly different manner. Now, the first step in that is to go to the Exchange Admin Center, to go to Hybrid, to go in and basically download the PowerShell module that will support multi-factor authentication. So you download that, install it. That will then give you an additional option on your uh, start menu here that basically uh, when you run that, that's going to give you the environment and you're going to use the connect-expos session right to connect your environment. Now, if you want to have that same functionality, but in the standard um, PowerShell integrated scripting environment here, then basically you're going to need to use a slightly different method here. So we're gonna have to import the module, reach out uh, using this command that you see here. All right, and it's going to basically load that from your local environment, but in the ISE. And then we'll need to, again, complete these new, uh, these two session options here. Once you've done that, you can then get access to it. So remember that enabling multi-factor authentication on global admins in Office 365 is really best practice when it comes to securing your environment. That's gonna have an impact on the way that you access PowerShell. You're gonna to have to approach that in a slightly different manner, but you can certainly do that whether you're doing it on the command line. And again, using these commands here, you can also get to that using the integrated scripting environment. So it shouldn't be that different from what you've experienced once you've just basically completed these initial options here. So hopefully you've got a better idea of what and how to uh, use PowerShell when you do have multi-factor uh, enabled on your global admins and you're using PowerShell in Office 365.